Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I'm going to be doing a little life update because I've got some news 10 months later. She's finally got a job which I'm so excited for and I'm going to delve into all the details, the kind of story behind it and what's going to happen moving forward which is all very exciting stuff. But if you are new here, my name's Amber and I make videos all about living in London, productivity and some fashion bits sprinkled in there but that may be evolving as time continues and my job progresses which we'll get into i also just just wanted to give a disclaimer that there's someone like chopping down trees or something a few doors down i already tried to film this once and it didn't really work but i think if we're just two pals chatting you can kind of get over the nasty construction noise that's going on but yeah so so happy to finally have a job i graduated last year 2020 in like March, April time with a events management degree from the University of Greenwich. Obviously the events industry has been suffering <laughs> recently with COVID and everything and lockdown, no one's going to events. So it was kind of the worst timing to be honest. And originally back in March, I was already interviewing for jobs because I wasn't gonna have a break. I just wanted to get straight into my graduate role. And I actually did two interviews before lockdown. Um, I did, they were both on the Friday before lockdown happened actually and I very nearly got one of them like so close they were going to call me up on the Monday to tell me that I'd got the job but on the Sunday the first lockdown in the UK was announced so it was just really unfortunate timing um, and since then obviously I had a huge break over summer I didn't work for like four or five months until the end of August where I started working as a nanny just to make some money obviously living in london is very expensive which i talk a lot about on my channel um but it just meant like i was burning through my savings so quick and i just needed something to pay rent so i was a nanny which i actually really enjoyed looking after two boys it was really good fun and i used to nanny a lot like throughout uni and when i was younger like my nan was a childminder so i've always been around little kids i really love it so it was just something nice to do that could also make me some money and kind of keep me busy whilst the world was in lockdown I guess and then as of the new year I started job hunting again literally applying to any job there was because back in March when I was applying there'd be like 20 30 new event management jobs a day and before when people would message me like oh I don't know if events is a good industry to go into or like a good job opportunities and things like that like what would you recommend what are your thoughts and i'd always be like yeah 100 percent. there's always so many jobs like so many opportunities in london and then they dried up so quick like there was nothing absolutely nothing i'd put like literally just like events maybe like 24k i was looking for around there in london and london's a pretty big place and yeah there'd be like two events or two job postings in like the last week or something it was just like really really low low job opportunities and obviously a lot of people got laid off within the events industry i think even i saw a statistic like forty thousand event jobs that existed before no longer do because venues have had to shut down and like they've just realized that they don't need that role within their company so the position doesn't exist anymore so the candidate pool was a lot stronger this time around because obviously everyone who's at anyone was looking for a job within the events industry and so i started applying again in the new year to every job that came up literally i was still kind of specific with the fact that i knew what i wanted to do i knew i wanted to go into being an event executive i don't think i've said that yet i'm an event executive i think I'm, oh maybe i did say that but yeah being an event executive or an event assistant or something along those lines so i was very like conscious that that was kind of the route i wanted to go down so i did apply for those ones but i wasn't like super picky about certain specifics of the job i was just like if anyone will take me at this point i'm happy and it just so happened that the company i had interviewed for before in march were hiring again in in january right now like last week so i applied i contacted my recruitment agent that i had before for that interview which i did which was the one i very nearly got and was like oh my gosh i can't believe they're hiring again i'm still available like i'm still job hunting if they're still interested and so he got in touch and was like they're still interested but you're gonna have to re-interview and i was so nervous because i think i almost wanted it more and i knew obviously it was going to be way more competitive like way more skilled people were going to be interviewed because more people are available like within the candidate pool 
um, but also I just wanted it so bad because at that point I knew so much about the job and I was so close to getting it and then obviously it got like taken away so I was just I wanted it so badly so I was so so nervous I think I slept for like four hours before the interview like the night before like really really struggled did the interview which was at like five o'clock in the evening so i had to spend the whole day just sat there like twiddling my thumbs trying to calm my nerves and my anxiety and just be like you've got it like you've done it once before it'll be fine and the interview was on zoom so i just like did it from my room and it lasted about 35 minutes it was super chill i can go through like examples of in interview processes for events management if you guys think that would be useful to you that could be like its own video because they asked a lot of questions and a lot of really good questions and I was very lucky in a sense like I was very well prepared I had like kind of brainstormed some of the questions that I remembered from last time or like variations of the questions so that I would have something to answer it with I wouldn't be like caught off guard which I think really helped and yeah they called me up the next day and was like you got the position so I'm still waiting for my formal contract to come through and then as soon as that's signed I start on the 1st of February which I think is very soon after you're watching this. So yeah, very exciting. I won't be nannying anymore. And I think, cause obviously I'm gonna be working full time and by full time, it's not like, like before I work eight till 4.30. So I kind of had the whole evening to either film or edit. And I'm gonna try and do the same, but I think this role is gonna be a lot more demanding than my nannying role was obviously. So we'll have to kind of test the waters with that. But I think initially I'm going to drop my video schedule back down to one video a week. I currently post two videos a week. I've never actually said that though. I just kind of put one up on a Thursday and then every video I'm like, I post one video every week on a Sunday. Like, and I've never really kind of made Thursday a concrete thing because I kind of expected this to happen. Like when I finally got a corporate role, I knew I would be able to post necessarily two videos a week. So... I think we'll drop it back down to one for a little bit. I think I can also mention in this podcast, in, in this video, <laughs> that I have launched a podcast. You may have even seen an episode that I put on my channel on Tuesday. But yeah, that's very exciting. But another thing that's going to be taking up some of my time and something I'm really excited to like make a real go of. So I want to set aside some time in the week for that as well. So it's going to be very full on, but it does mean like, Guys, I can't even tell you how many videos I have listed down about like the corporate world and working in London and everything that I want to film. And I felt so silly because obviously then I didn't get the job and like couldn't get a job. So I was like put those right at the bottom of my list and now they can creep their way back up and I can make videos about working in London, which I'm super excited about. I know quite a lot of you followed me for my university videos and have like followed me on my journey, but also just enjoy seeing like the productivity side of it seeing like a nine to five job and things so i'm really excited about that let me know if you have any requests or ideas for kind of job videos or employment videos or corporate world london working videos that kind of thing because i'd be really interested to know your thoughts i definitely have a lot of videos already that i'm super excited to film about like some kind of productivity some kind of minimalism a lot of outfit videos which i'm very excited about obviously not representing the best right now i'm currently in a hoodie but i just like this was a bit spontaneous i just kind of wanted to jump on here and have kind of like a candid chat with you all about my life because i'm so happy i kind of expected not to get it not that the interview didn't go well because it definitely did but i don't know i just thought like someone would have done better than me maybe i don't know i guess i was just kind of preparing myself for the worst maybe so when he called me and told me that I got it, I was literally in shock. I was like, I don't know what to say because this is crazy. It's something I've dreamed about for the last, like, God knows how long. Definitely within the last four years. Because obviously that was when I was at uni doing my degree. But even before then, like, the idea of working in London, like, in an office in central London, eventually, obviously, when London opens back up. Right now, it's just going to be working from home. But then I'll do three days working from home and two days in the office, like, every week. So yeah i'm just super excited about it. i'm super excited to have like a proper salary which i haven't had in god knows how long like two years i think because i've either been doing like bar work or nannying or, like there's always been some kind of flexibility to my salaries like nothing steady that i can rely on so that's also really nice just to have that peace of mind but i'm really excited i'm so happy that you guys are here with me on this journey i'm so glad i got to update you all i think it's going to be 
really fun it's definitely an adjustment like right now i go to bed at like 2 a.m i wake up at 10. so that's gonna need to change i'm gonna have to get back on to like corporate time to wake up at like nine and like answer calls and do video calls and set up conferences and stuff like it's all gonna be very different but just very exciting i'm so ready for a new challenge and i just feel like the last 10 months my life has kind of been put on pause a little bit i know that goes for a lot of people but just in the sense like i wasn't able to like build towards my career or anything during that time so i'm really excited just to hit the ground running and like really make a success of it and i'm so glad that you guys get to come along with me on the journey and i'll show you obviously as much as i can on the process and stuff i think i'm going to film my first week back at work like a work week in the life but I don't know it might be an extra pressure that I kind of resent at the end but I think it'll be fun to document even just for me to look back on one day so yeah excited for that so if you want to see that definitely hit the subscribe button down below because that will be coming up soon but yeah I think that's all the updates for now everything else is pretty much the same I'm still in the same apartment London's still on lockdown I can't go anywhere but I will be working doing something I'm very excited about which I'm so looking forward to so yeah thank you very much for watching the video if you did enjoy this video please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to comment any video ideas or recommendations that you have down below and i will see you next sunday with a brand new video bye